Hello there, welcome back to another video with me, Nina Schofield, singer songwriter, vocal coach, and session musician, big Julianne San Jose fan. I feel like that looked really weird, but there you go. That's my hands. And today we're going to be watching Julianne's medley of Can You Read My Mind and Ice Castles at Julie Sings the Divas, a concert I've just kind of been working my way through slowly and really enjoying. And there's something beautiful and magical about Julianne San Jose's vocal that I just, I keep coming back to. And I want to see what she does with this medley. It's five minutes long, so we're going to get to enjoy, you know, a fair amount of good music. And just see what's going on in terms of her technique, her performance technique, her vocals, and what's going on with this medley. Let us see. Here we go. Of course, the orchestra makes it so magical and there's a choir I can see. Oh, so beautiful. Can you read my mind? Oh. Do you know what it is you do to me? It's so gorgeous. I don't know who you Just a friend from another star. <laughs> nice performance, don't you? Here I am, like a kid at a school. See, to me, this kind of delivery, it's almost Barbara Streisand-esque. It's just got this smoothness. There's like a held back thing within her tonality. You know she, she's got those powerhouse vocals, but it's maintaining this mystery within her voice when she begins a performance, love it. Holding hands with a god, I'm a fool. For you look at me, quivering like a little girl, shivering. And the choir with her. You can see right through This dynamic build. So there, in terms of the actual song, you get this nice tension. So you get this lovely F sustained in the bass where you add the G chord and the A and the G up above. So even that A is, is adding a little bit of dis dissonance. Uh, Just stunning, just stunning. Okay, so we'll listen to that little bit again so you can hear that. Can you picture the things I'm thinking of? The vibrato is like one. <laughs> Very well controlled. Oh, magic. there I'm going to take it back so you can hear the backing vocals coming in up here and Julie's vocal coming in up here and then they meet each other uh, so let's just listen to that little phrase again and they kind of cross over each other So really taking us up into those higher frequencies within the piano, which is just beautiful. And then back down. Please don't let this feeling <laughs> end. It might not come again. It's everything I Almost want conversational, to be. this. I can see what's mine now. Here we go. 
these lovely dynamic changes where we just have the swells. It's not like we're going to the biggest impact of all time. We're not heading to fortissimo, you know, loudest of the loud, but we just have these lovely swells. So we get to see more of the subtle changes within dynamics rather than just going from very quiet to very loud and back again. It's just these lovely swells. I'm really enjoying it. Please don't let this feeling end. It might not come again. And I want to remember. Every word. See, I love that. Oh, just that turnaround is just gorgeous. Wait, let me take it back so you can hear that again. just there with the end of the backing vocals you started with the unison then it split into the octave unison and then the harmony was added in really interesting arrangement what a stunning performance and when i say disney-esque vocals i mean like disney circa 1940s 1950s you know those just unbelievable backing vocals that we know and love from disney movies ah oh, that was just so nice such uh, a beautiful, it was like a, a putting on a blanket of vocals. Does that make sense? Really just stunning. And she has such a warmth about her that you just can't help but want to watch her when she smiles, you know, all these different things that make you feel like, yes, you know, you're fantastic and I want to watch you and I want to support you. And then she has that vocal. Just amazing. There's a connection between her audience and her and her band on stage and her, I say band, I mean, that was an orchestra, but you know, you could see that communication with the pianist, for instance. And I think that's important too. It all just feels like one lovely team, uh, audience, people on stage, Julianne, everyone together. <laughs> Let me know what you thought of that in the comments box down below and what your favorite moment was. What do you like about Julianne's vocal? What's your favourite song that she sung? Let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, become part of our family here if you haven't already. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nina underscore Schofield and links to all my various services are in the description box down below. I've just updated my Patreon tiers, so do go ahead and check that out and there's more to come in April as well, which is exciting. And yeah, on my Wizio, I can help you out with your vocals or lyric writing, lots of different things, even do a shout out for you. So if you want me to have a listen to your voice and let you know what I think, or indeed just help you with the performance you're doing at the moment, then do go ahead and check out wizio.com forward slash Nina Schofield. And you can see all my recent reviews and a couple of different example videos on there. And I will see you on the next video for another Incredible vocal, I hope. Okay, love you. Bye.